So the next thing right now is cutting our lining. So this is the lining I'm going to be using. You can use a uh, black color or color that complements your this thing. But I'm using this uh, type of fabric simply because of the class so that anything I'm going to be doing on the lining, it will be clearer than when I have everything on the same color. You understand that? So that's why I'm going to be using this and I am sure it's still going to be cool. Let's get to it. Okay, now I've laid my fabric on this stuff and I'm going to be cutting the back part first. So I'll be placing my back pieces. I will be placing my back piece on it and then I will be cutting the exact same size. So right here you may have it a little like a quarter of an inch more and also here maybe one eight because we already had enough allowance here so right here you can extend it a bit like a quarter of an inch and then right here just a little it should be a little larger like one eighth of an inch larger than uh, and right here, it doesn't have to be larger. Here. Now that we have our this thing intact, then this is ready for the next stage. Then you go ahead to your side panel as well. I'm going to my side panel. And then right here I'll be cutting the side panel also the same way Now that we have this, let's make a notch just in case we want to join the lining so that we won't be having too much issues. The notch will help us with the lining. So now that I have this done also, I place it at the side and then now the, to the front part. So how do we cut the front part? You take a piece. cut the lining for the front part to take a piece of the actually you can do this later you can cut the, you, you can attach the lining later but it is I mean cut the lining later but it is still nice if you do it now so here is what you do you see what I've done here Then you're replacing the major fabric, the, the major uh, body, the front part on top. You can see what I did. So you'll be placing that on top of this and making sure you match it. Okay. So now that I've done this, I can then proceed. All these plays are not too 
important as we'll be cutting them away. I can then proceed to cut. Okay, let's just make this straight. The adjustment can be done later because once we do what we are supposed to do here, the dart is still going to take some listing. So now that we have this done, you just remove the major parts. Aha. So once you remove the major parts with your chop, you mark those points. Okay, where's the chalk? Okay, so you mark all these points. Yeah. Now that I've marked this point, I can then remove this and cut. So make sure you're not cutting directly on the line. You're cutting about, let's say, half of an inch. Or five eighths away from your line so that when you stitch it you get to the exact point again yes so this way you have your lining that is going to be attached to the okay so now we've caught the lining for all the pieces now